In this video, I'm going to explain ARM ALP program to count number of ones and zeros in a two consecutive memory locations are actually uh, two consecutive 32 bit data we are checking. Okay. Uh, how many zeros and ones are there in a two consecutive uh, memory location assuming 32 bit data are actually present. Okay. Because in ARM we are talking about 32 bit data. So assuming that uh, there are two 32 bit data are present in the memory location and uh, we are checking how many zeros and ones are there in that uh, two 32 bit data. So first line is actually TTL is a title or you can comment the entire line. Okay, it is a title of the program. So area you can give it as a ones and zero and it is a area of type code which is read only. Next line is export space. You have to give one space underscore underscore small letter M A I N. And uh, next line is underscore underscore mean. Underscore underscore mean is a label. Uh, startup file is going to fetch the import the address of underscore underscore mean. So in our program, you have to export that address label. So this is the program starts move R to zero. So it is a counter for uh, number of ones. Uh, move R3 is equal to zero. It's a counter for zeros. Move R7 is equal to two because why it is two? We have to add two 32 bit data. Okay, we have to check two 32 bit data how many ones and zeros. Suppose if you want to check three consecutive locations, means you have to give three. If it is only one 32 bit data, just give only one. Okay, since we are checking uh, two consecutive 32 bit data. Uh, you have given R7 is equal to 2. So next R7 load R6 is equal to value. So that values actually it is given inside the code radio only. Okay, value defined constant data of 0x11111, 0x AA55, AA55. So actually in binary it is in hexadecimal. In binary 111 means you have to split each binary hexadecimal into 4 4 1 1 1 1 1 1 then a a a means 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 a means 10 then 5 0 1 0 1 a means 1 0 1 0 5 means 1 0 1 again 5 means 0 1 so these uh, hexadecimals are there written in a binary so manual only you can also check how many ones and zeros are there okay so you can check here how many ones are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 ones are there okay 24 ones that is a decimal count okay and uh, uh, out of uh, 60 64 32 32 is 64 out of 64 28 uh, 74 if you subtract remaining is actually uh, zeros okay so next we are loading that uh, value this one 1111 one, 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 no? that we are loading into r6 we are fetching the first uh, 32 bit value into r6 and in rm all the registers are 30 bit 32 bit so r6 can hold 32 bit value so this is a label loop is a label move r1 comma 32 this is decimal it is not 0x32 it is 32 32 means in one uh, uh, location, we are assuming one 32 bit data. So we have to check 32 times whether that is individual bits are zeros and ones. So that 32 indicates the data bus. We are checking the value, the 32 bit value, how many ones and zeros. That's why load R naught, uh, the content of, if you write bracket, that is a content of the address. In R6, we have a value address. So we are loading it. And after loading, R0 is incremented by 4. Because one more data we have to fetch, no? The 0A. That's why after fetching the data into this location, uh, we can add R0 by 4. This is a post increment will take place. If you don't write here hash 4, then you have to write here add R0, comma R0 hash 4. Manually you have to, do, sorry, add R6. In R6, it will be incremented by 4. Add R6. Ash 4 you have to write separately. This is a uh, advantage of in our programming. We can give uh, post increment in the instruction itself. Okay. 
next label is loop 0 uh, this is logically shift left side lsl means logically shift left side and update the flag how many times you have to logically shift left side by one time okay msb will the msb 0 to 31 bit no 31 bit that is msb bit will go to the carry bit after that you can check whether the carry bit is one or not so check carry flag is set to one cs means carry flag s means set b means branch branch to ones label branch to la ones label if cs if carry flag is set so that means it will jump uh, uh, first time it will left shift uh, 31st bit to the carry flag and we are checking if the carry flag is actually 001 you can see this bit this is out of this is the first 32 bit data is loaded to or not and this this is the 31st bit only last zero that will go to the carry flag it is set or not it is not set one means set now what happens you have to increment zeros so add r3 comma r3 one r3 is here r3 is a counter for zero so you have to increment r3 increment r3 that is add r3 r3 by one so it is nothing but r3 is equal to r3 is equal to r3 plus one increment by one okay next branch loop one because we should not add next instruction is what one label and add r2 r2 one no so we have to skip this line so that's why branch to this r jump to loop one label so in this we have to decrement r1 in r1 what is there in r1 we store root 32 bit counter no 32 times you have to shift left side so that's why you have to, one time you shifted so you have to decrement that one so this is nothing but r1 is equal to r1 minus 1 okay next here actually if it is not equal to 0 if r1 not equal to 0 then go branch to loop 0 again it will go back here once again logically shift left side by 1 and again if there is a carry increment once else increment zeros okay so 32 times it will repeat after that r1 becomes 0 after r1 becomes 0 then uh, this uh, loop 0 is we go over so next we have to check whether r7 because two consecutive equations you have to check here please observe here two consecutive equations are there so you have to check whether this count is also 0 or not first time we did uh, decrement r7 okay Now we are checking whether it is equal to 0 or not. Subtract R7 by 1. So here R7 is equal to R7 minus 1. So now from 2 it becomes 1. So again it is not equal to 0. Again it will go back to the outer loop. I think here. You can check here. BN is loop here. Once again you have to load because second data also having this data second data a0 a0 no this is also having 32 bit data so again you have to reload that's why don't get confusion with where to jump you have to jump here outer side again load because second data is also having 32 bit data move r1 with 32 bit again get that value already previously it is incremented by 4 r not is incremented by 4 so again take the new value of uh, content of the address into r not it will fetch a a 55 a 55 into r not and it will repeat logically shift left side each time the carry flag is checked uh, whether it is 0 or 1 if it is 0 increment 0 if it is 1 increment 1 so uh, again after completion of this once again uh, subtract r7 by 1 now 1 minus 1 is 0 so it will compare with uh, 0 now it is not equal to um, if it is not equal go back to loop otherwise you have to store now now two locations are actually uh, we have to write a result in the data memory so area of the data memory is result where it is a data memory we can do write also we are going to write two variables one's count define constant data as zero zero's count define constant data as zero these two variables initially analyze into zero 
so let us place uh, once count into this location so get address of this load r8 comma is equal to once count it is a once count so in r8 register address of uh, in the memory we have data memory and code memory from the data memory it will get the variable address into r8 after that which register is actually having count count for one is actually r2 okay so count for zero c is actually r3 so which one you are you are moving once count once count is in r2 so store r2 into this r8 load r9 address of zero count now in r3 from r3 store r3 into this address so you have to type this program after that to compile very check any errors are there no errors zero errors and zero warning start debug okay now uh, again once you start debug it will go to the startup file line number 131 it will fetch the address of underscore underscore main and it will jump to that it will come to our program sorry this is still uh, uh, we are in uh, another program i think uh, i have not added see here this is a previous program only you have to check whether it is added or you have to remove this previous file and you have to add this file this will be saved with the zeros and ones file see if you double click this this program should come now compile this program again one error is coming if you want some error is some not error it is actually warning okay so if you want you can put uh, on a line let us check whether if you put some align automatically it will align so that uh, a padding address error will not come okay yes, it gone just on add one align so that uh, yeah, warnings you can ignore this is optional with warnings also you can it will execute let's start debug r0 is 0 r3 is 0 r7 is 2 okay first data is loaded okay observe r0 is r6 will be incremented by 4 okay observe what is the address of uh, r6 a value value address is coming in r6 in r6 what is there you see it is 140 so there are two memory windows i opened so in this one you can put that uh, address 140 you can see that uh, 1111 aa55aa55 so if you don't know where it is stored you can get uh, that address by putting is equal to that variable name load r6 is equal to value now it is showing this second data is starting at 144 okay so after loading uh, this here now actually r6 is having address of uh, this 140 content of this will go to r0 r0 the previous value and after that the same time r6 also incremented by 4 r6 is incremented to 144 now first data is loaded here okay now you have to execute okay you have to get into carry and each time you have to check the carry or not first time if you do left side okay you are doing logically lift shift left side and update the flag yes means last s is save the flag or update the flag so if you logically shift left side carry flag is zero because we are shifted zero 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 one now left zero is went to there so first time you have to increment actually uh, r not is there a register uh, counter for r3 r3 counter will increment you can see r3 is zero now it will be incremented to one r zero counter is incremented so again subtract r1 by r1 is 32 32 minus 32 means actually in hexadecimal it is 20 okay 32 
in hexadecimal yes 32 in hexadecimal it is 20 that's why it is 20 is there 20 minus 1 in hexadecimal is 1f so it becomes 1f now okay if it is not equal to 0 go back to again logically shift left side second time also 0 will get increment 0 counter so fourth time you will get 1 this 0 0 1 no this one that time one increment will take place see now one increment take place now four times it is over similarly how many times you have to do for first number 32 times you have to click step over step over step over so every time whenever zero comes zero incremented one comes one incremented see after the completion of uh, first all the 32 bit times see when r2 when r1 becomes zero You have to keep on clicking. Observe when R1 becomes 0. Okay, now Z flag will be set to 1. When R1 becomes 0, Z flag will be set to 1. Okay, so in the first 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, how many 1s and 0s are there you can observe here? 8 and 18 is came. Okay, 8 and 18. 8 and 18 means uh, in the calculator, 18 means in hexadecimal, 18 means 24 in decimal. Okay, so 24 1s and 8 uh, 1s, 24 zeros and 8 1s. Okay, you can check it here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 ones. Remaining zeros are coming. So, similarly, second data also you verify 32 times. So, again, it will load with 32 value and 32 times you have to repeat it. Second data also. Final answer you can check at the end. Or you can click um, continuous run is there no? This button also you can click to execute. Or you can execute 32 times until R1 once again becomes 0. Now 8, then R1 is 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So after that it will stop. And it is storing. What is the address of this uh, ones count is 1000. So in the memory window 1, this is the address. It is storing 18 in hexadecimal. And uh, number of ones is 118. Number of zeros is 28. Actually, this is hexadecimal. In hexadecimal, uh, in hexadecimal, 18 means in decimal it is equal to 24 ones, okay, and uh, 28 means in decimal it is 40. Okay, if you want, you can convert right click and uh, 24 and 48. You can count here from here to here. Initially, I counted number of ones is 24. Okay. Then remaining 40s are actually zeros. Out of 64 bits, 24 bits are 1. So remaining 40 bits are actually zeros. So this is how you can verify the answer.